Hi guys, welcome to It's Ash. Well, welcome back to It's Ash if you're new or not. I'm so excited to be announcing that Pokemon Risk 3 Dungeon Explores the Sky is going to be our next playthrough on this channel. It's honestly one of my favorite Pokemon games. It's definitely up there. And I'm so excited to re-experience with you guys, unless if you guys haven't played this game and you're playing for the first or watching for the first time. It's one crazy journey. I'm so excited. So let's just watch this opening movie. <laughs> By the way, the small screen is the the small screen I believe on my right side of my layout is technically the top screen of the bigger screen. It's a little weird. The setup's a little weird because it's a DS game. Yeah, that's supposed to connect. It's so pretty. Man, I wish I could show you guys what it's like in full version. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look at us! <sighs> Have you guys ever played Pokemon Rest 3 Dungeon? Before? It's a really fun game. Here we go. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon explores the sky. Start. Okay, here we are. Okay, so for those who don't know, in the beginning, there's going to be a personality test. And that's going to determine who your starter or who your main character is. I will tell you which options I would personally choose, but I'm trying to get Mudkip. So I'm going to try going for the lonely personality uh i don't know if that suits me or not but normally when i always do this personality quiz blind i always get skitty so that is probably my personality but i'm trying to get mudkip <laughs> this game is really difficult you know you need you need the right coverage welcome this is a portal that leads to the world inhabited only by pokemon <gasps> i will be voice acting by the way i will do my best I know I haven't really voice acted for many of my other playthroughs on this channel, at least, but on my other channel with my friends, we voice act quite a lot. It's hilarious. <laughs> Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Here's the personality quiz. Be truthful when you answer that. I am so sorry. Are you ready? Then let the questions begin. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Because I know it's very randomized, but... Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? Yes, I have. Yes. Do you prefer to play outside rather than inside? Um, it kind of depends on my mood, to be honest. Like, sometimes? I'd rather play inside and play games, but sometimes playing outside is really fun because you can play with friends. Probably what I would prefer... I would prefer playing outside. I don't know, recently it's been like that. Have you blurted something out without thinking about the consequences first? Yes. Do you think you have good study habits? Yes, I do. How are your mornings? Um, they're okay. I'd, I'd say they're usually always perfect, but they're either okay or perfect. I'd say they're pretty perfect. Did you make any New Year's resolutions? I did last year. I don't think I made any this year. <laughs> what are those? Nope. Let's go with nope. When you're in class, you realize that you really have to go to the restroom. Oh no. What do you do? What do I do? What do I do? Ask for permission to leave. <laughs> Sneak out. Hold on until class ends. Sorry, this is probably... I'm not getting any lonely options. I'm... This is a struggle. Ask for permission to leave. Ooh, I normally hold on until class ends. So I'm gonna choose that. Do you want to be taller someday? I do not. I feel like I'm already tall enough. I actually wanted to be really short when I was little. So I would drink a lot of coffee because I thought coffee makes you shorter. That's what my mom told me, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Your friend is running a little late to meet you. Is that okay? Yes. Are you male or female? I did not get any lonely questions. I'm a little scared. Female. Your aura being analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. 
Here we go. Relax, calm yourself. And now press your fingertip gently on the bow. Okay, we're gonna have to hold it. Deep breaths. <gasps> Mudkip. Manifest. I don't think we got Mudkip. We didn't get any lonely questions. Is green? A brilliant green. What is what is that? Thank you for answering all of those questions. You seem to be the rash type. We did not get Mudkip. We run out of your house and forget to lock the door once in a while. And you may think you may leave things like umbrellas behind when you leave places. Maybe you even dash outside in your slippers every now and then. Mm. Perhaps you even wore your shirt inside out all the time. Hold up. Uh, your friends think you're funny. Little flubs are adorable. <laughs> so rash and hasty type like you. Oh wait, one more thing. You also sometimes reveal your friends' secrets. I do not really. <laughs> it had to be said. I don't think I do. Torchic. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna stay a Torchic. I'm gonna stay a Torchic. And finally, who will be our partner? We're gonna go a little. Oh man, I wanted Mudkip. It's okay. And for our partner, I. We got all the other options that we didn't get for all the other personalities. But I'm gonna choose out of everyone here. Trico! For story purposes. I don't know, I think Trico is the best choice. I've always chose Trico. Hee <laughs> hee. Trico, yes. I'm gonna keep Trico's name like that. Yes. Okay, you're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Ooh. <laughs> Chapter 1, A Storm at Sea. Whoa! Whoa! Are... are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on, hang on! N no no I can't! Hold on! Wow! <laughs> this, this is not working out. <laughs> well, that happened. It's a stormy sea. Whoa! That rock looks really cool. And creepy. Dot 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 Where... where am I? I'm a torchic! I can't... Drifting off. Uh-oh. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no. I refuse to be paralyzed with this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? This is so cool. <laughs> the footprint is Trico's! The footprint is Trico's. Wah! Why are they looking at my foot? That was too shocking. Oh. Err, I can't. I can't work up the courage to go in after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... I thought that holding onto my personal treasure would inspire me. Sigh. I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Tar. I feel that. It's okay, Trico. Oh my god, it's been so long since I last played. <gasps> oh? Hey, Zubat. Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. Oh, wait, wait, my OVS. <laughs> wait, uh, okay, sorry. Um, that little wimp was pacing around. Had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. <laughs> it looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after her? We do. Uh-oh, Trico. That can't be good. Oh, the beach. The 
the Krabbies. So pretty. Oh wow, what a pretty sight. That is really pretty. When the weather is good, the crabby come down at the sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off the waves. Ah, I want to see something like that in real life. It's always beautiful. <sighs> this is where I always come when I feel sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here. Like, always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Eh? Hey! What's that? What's going on over there? Ah! Wah! Someone has collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? That's me! Erg. You're awake! That's a relief. Where... where am I? You weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. You remember how you ended up con unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Trico. Glad to meet you. And who are you? I've never seen you around before. What? You say you're a human? <laughs> I am. I am actually a human. You look like a totally normal Torchic to me. It's true! I've turned into a Torchic! Holy crap, guys! It's Ash turned into a Torchic! But how did this happen? I don't remember anything! You're... a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? No, 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 no. You're telling me the truth? Alright then. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... I'm gonna name myself Ash. Hee hee hee! Okay. Uh, controls. Okay, do I add an extra E? Mmm, I'll add it. <laughs> Ash. Oh, Ash is your name. Okay, well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon at least. Well, I'm a human, but yeah. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. That's not good. That was so rude. Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, what'd you do that for? <laughs> Can't figure it out. We wanted to mess with you. Can't face us up. Can't face up to us, can you? <laughs> I don't know why Zubat sounds like that. What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! Whoa! Not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. I don't know why coughing sounds like an old man. <laughs> See you around, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go! Get it back! Oh... What should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No, there's no time to waste. I've got to get it back. Hey, can you... Can I get you to help me? Yes, let's go. Really? You'll really help me? Thank you. Let's go quickly. Here we go. Our first dungeon in Mystery Dungeon. Beach Cave. Head for the stairway. Attack enemies are pressing A. Okay, there seems to be an enemy right here. So press A will attack them regularly. This is an attack that you can do as much as you want. Ouch. What the heck? Wow, you're very bulky. And then... Okay, we got some money. Um, before that, I'm gonna fix my settings real quick. Moves. 
So what we have, we have growl and scratch. I guess we can set scratch uh, select. Okay, there you go. And then for Trico, I'm gonna make Trico only use pound <laughs> for now, for now, because Leer just lowers defense. That could be good for boss battles, but if we're just walking, then probably just pound and then scratch. There we go. And then fire menu, the top screen that's on the side of my layout. <laughs> Let me see. Others. I think it's others. Oh, oops. I'm not used to this. Options. And then I'm gonna have the speed fast. The top screen is gonna be team stats. Yes. There we go. We have us on the top now. Okay, here we go. Ah. Oh. Nice. Okay. And then we got more money. And these stairs? Oh! They didn't say that in the beginning. <laughs> money is everything. Yes. We go down the stairs, and we basically make our way up the floors. Even though the stairs look like it's going down. But I'm gonna explore a little bit more before we go down the stairs, you know, just to see. I like exploring the whole floor before going. <laughs> okay, that's a dead end. <laughs> We've explored the entire floor. Time to go. Proceed. And then I'll show you guys how to use the selected move. Oh! Okay, we can carry one item because we don't have a bag right now. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, the stairs are right here, but I want to explore more. Hopefully we can find more enemies. Ah. Okay. Ledle. There you go. L and A are the move that you selected, so it's a lot easier to use it. So we use scratch, it does a lot more damage than a regular hit. Dead end again! Come on! <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> ah, we missed. It's a battle of scratch. That's crazy. Also, when we walk around, our HP will eventually go back to normal, which is pretty nice. As you can see, our HP is the green bar on the top. We only have a limited amount of moves though, so we gotta be careful with that. Beach Cave 3. In some areas, you see ground tiles. Oh, yes. We don't have any right now, though. Ooh, what's this? Boss seed! Boss seed! Yes. They're very nice. Helpful with bosses, especially. Okay, here we go. Yay, Trigo's helping us! <laughs> it's so fun. Okay. Oh, a sleeping Pokemon. Perfect target. <laughs> Harden. Okay. Their defense rose. That's fine. I think a regular attack should finish. Nice. This might be the end. No? Not yet. Have any questions? Okay. Ooh, someone else picked up a blast seed. That could be bad. Okay, let's be careful here. I think the crystal behind it has the blast seed. Oh, it's not using it. Thank god. Oh, it does have the blast seed. Haha. <laughs> so these tiles you can step on and it'll get rid of any bad effects on you, which is very nice. Sleep seed. Interesting. Like, defense lowered. It'll get rid of all of that. But it doesn't get rid of status elements. It's okay though. Oh, we leveled up! That was so fast. Level 6. Yay, HP. This is very nice. Oh, <gasps> Treacle 2? Level 6. Absorb! Absorb is a really good move. Last time move. Very good. Very good start. This is why you want to wander around the entire dungeon before going in the stairs, because you get more levels. I think that just goes around. <laughs> okay. We've been using Scratch a lot. I'm a little scared about our <laughs> power points. <laughs> is this it? This is it. Beach Cave Pit. We've cornered you! Uh... Hey! Well, well! Oh, well, well! If it isn't an old friend, the big chicken! I'm a chicken, bro! I'm a torchic! Urk. Give me- give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure, it means everything to me! Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable! <laughs> It could be worth more than we'd hope for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? Might get a good price. Oh, ha, ha, ha. 
All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it, hehehe. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Our very first boss fight. Okay, let's go next to Trico and let's get the coffee first. We only have Scratch, unfortunately. Wait! We do have... We do have our Blast Seed. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna eat it and it's gonna blast coughing. <gasps> nice! <laughs> that was huge! Okay, let's get Zubat in the middle of us so we can tag team. Easy. Too easy. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, we can rest up. Give it back! But blast it! How do we get wiped out by whips like them? Bah, here you go, take it then. Nice! Whoa, don't think you're so awesome, your victory was a fluke. We used the blast seed, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just remember that. Whee! They run away. Oh, it's my relic fragment! <laughs> Am I ever glad? I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Ash. Thank you, Ash. Oh. Thank you, seriously! <laughs> We're so confused. <laughs> I only helped because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. Oh, that torching's so cute! It's nice to be appreciated. True. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when they talk when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden trolls are full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territory is veiled in darkness, and new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of unimaginable golden treasure. And history? Wouldn't it be amazing to discover to make historic discoveries? That's what I've always dreamed of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit it looked like junk, but take a closer look. There's a pattern! See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There's a strange in inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. There must be some sort of significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least, that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join the exploration team. This fragment must fit into something somewhere. <laughs> it's got to. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I chickened out. Oh, What about you, Ash? What are you gonna do now? You lost your memory, so you somehow transform into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? Not really. If not, can I ask you a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Ash. So, will you? Please? Blah, what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue! I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join those Pokemon and form an exploration team? <gasps> form a team. It's true, I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Trico for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that settles. Yes. Yes? Really? You form an exploration team with me? Yes, thank you! We're going to be a great combination. Let's make this work. First, we should go to Willy Tuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we'll need to train and become a first-rate exploration team. I'm excited! I'm sure the training will be very tough. Well, let's give it our best, Ash. <laughs> oh, so cute. And so... Trico and Ash formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into 
many fantastic realms of adventure that awaits their arrival. And with that, here we go. That's the same pattern. Explores the sky. And that being said, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed our very first episode. And like and subscribe if you want more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!